I was the richest in school. Not from the richest family, you know, <laughs> definitely not from a rich family. I'm, I'm from humble beginnings and, you know, I always remember that. But I was definitely the richest individual, apart from those rebels who used to sell drugs in school. I was the richest individual because I used to buy and sell crisps in school. No one else had that drive like me. Now, I had two friends. They used to be part-time-ish, on and off, buying and selling goods in school. But I did it every single day consistently. It was my life, yeah? To the point where I got kicked out of school two weeks before study leave in year 11 because I was trying to escape out of school to buy more stock to maximise profits for the day. So, in school, my life wasn't about education. It was all about making money. Now, this video is about you know, that short-term thinking instead of long-term thinking. So whilst I was in school, when I was 15 and when I was in year 10, I had 1,500 to my name saved, yeah? Because as I said, I was consistently buying and selling goods and selling every single day. And to the point where even when I got kicked out of school, you know, I had two weeks left until my exams. I didn't even care that I wasn't able to revise for an extra two weeks. All I cared about was oh damn man i can't make any money for the next two weeks i've lost out on two weeks profit which may have been about i don't know 80 pounds or so that's all i cared about now as i said i was the richest in school but that was a short-term thing because i've actually left my room just to come downstairs to make this video because whilst i was writing up this book on my laptop i'm writing down yeah i should have been a minimum of a b, st b student Maximum I could have got A's, A stars if I really, really worked for it. But minimum I should have came out of um, school with B's. And I just flew through school um, achieving C's. Now in this chapter, I was stressing, stressing, trying to get the reader to understand that my main focus in school was about making money. But I felt the brunt of it now because in school I had a lot of money and I was quote unquote ahead of everyone although I didn't show it I didn't you know buy new trainers and try and flaunt or anything I was just focused on making money and selling but I was ahead of everyone in terms of you know um, how much money I had but now the tables have kind of turned because a lot of those kids that I probably sold Christmas drinks to they're probably earning way more money than me now I earn averagely around like 48 50 grand a year that kind of salary yeah I can get jobs where I earn a bit more or whatever because I do contract work, but I can kind of earn around 48, 50 grand a year easily. But some of those kids that I'm selling to, they might be on 80, 90 grand a year. Now, I know one boy, I sold Christmas drink to him every now and then. He is a dentist. He probably earns about 80, 90 grand a year. So when I was richer than him, when I was 15, 16 years old, not that I was laughing at him, but at that time I was richer than him. So it seemed like I was ahead of him. But he wasn't focused on that. He was focused on getting an education, maybe living like a poor child, you know, for a good period of time, you know, 16 to 20, 20 to 24. But then eventually that hard work that he put in, because he was like an A-star student. I'm imagining he got A-stars because I know he went and became an, a dentist. So I just imagine he got A-stars. He put in that work and it paid off. My focus was on making money, short term, quick money, you know, fast fix. But I felt the brunt of it because now I don't earn as much money because I put the work in into something else. Now, I will make up for that anyway because one day I will be rich and famous anyway. I'll be living in a big, massive mansion. I can put my heart on that. I will achieve that because, you know, there's nothing stopping me from doing that. That, that is my driving ambition. But... Let's say, for example, I was just following nature's course and I wasn't going to step out of my comfort zone and I was just going to remain an electrician. He would have been ahead of me because I was putting my energies into something more short term, like, you know, buying and selling crisps. Yeah, I had a lot of money back then when I was a child. But in the long run, I've kind of lost out. He put his energies into the books for a good period of time. He would have been broke. Yeah, if he's from humble beginnings like myself, he would have been broke. But eventually it would have caught up and he would have been he would have reaped the fruits of his um, labor, however they call it. So it's just it's just like when you see those drug dealers on the street, 
I don't know what area you're from, but from where I live, there's a lot of drug dealers around and stuff. They live that fast lifestyle, fast money, you know. When they're 20 years old, they will be in a position where most 35-year-olds with, you know, a 9-to-5 job will be, will, will be at. So they might have a nice car. They probably won't have a property because obviously they won't be able to prove their earnings. So, But they'll have a nice car, have all the latest clothes and stuff. They'll be living 15 years ahead. But unfortunately, that type of lifestyle is short-lived because they'll probably spend the rest of their time in prison and making up for it. Yeah. Or, and or, they'll come out of prison and either go one of two ways, yeah? They'll either go back to selling drugs or they'll get some crap job because they, like me, they didn't invest as much time as they could into education. So they'll get a crap job like removals or delivery. Something where you just need a license. Something where it doesn't take much of a brain, yeah? So it's short-lived. Worst case scenario, there'll be like some people I know who have ended up in a box because they've been murdered over, you know, some drug dispute or whatever. So it just goes to show, you know, living that fast lifestyle. Although, all right, some people will say what I was doing was illegal because obviously I was selling Crispin drinks in school without some kind of license, but that's cool. But yeah, you know, I was selling Crispin drinks in school. I was making a lot of money when I was younger, but I wasn't putting my energies into the right place. And now I felt the brunt of it. Now it's caught up on me. Now I'm only earning, you know, 48, 50 grand a year when maybe I should have put my energies into the books and I could have been, you know, maybe a doctor or a dentist or something like that. But I could have had more options, you know, rather than just earning, um, just achieving five GCSEs and then having to become an electric electrician, you know. So the long term is always better than the short term. Slow money is better than fast money. Put your energies into your books. If, if, even if you're still in university, because I don't really expect to be talking to anyone who's in school, but put your energies into your books because eventually it will pay off. You might come out of uni and be working a crap job, yeah, on 22 grand a year or whatever, yeah. But if you've put in enough work, trust me, one day, it could be in four years' time after that, you'd be earning 50, 60 grand a year easily. So don't worry about the short term. Always think about the long term. If you like the video, subscribe. If you don't like the video, change your station.